All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at it. I uh, gained a couple levels, as you see here. I am now 15. Got that treasure hunter. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Um, and we are gonna get onto these missions, okay? So, let's see, is there? I'm gonna refresh my signet while I'm here. Uh, cast signet on me. Yes, please. And I think we are good to go. All right. So, um, after uh, debating it and whatnot, <laughs> I'm not going to be used to that, uh, that strategy guide. I was looking through it for other missions and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. Like, it doesn't let you know really about anything. So, that's, that's fine. We don't have to use it. You know, I, uh, I will do the same thing that any sane person will, and I'll use Google. Actually, I'm going to be using mostly, uh, the BG Wiki or, uh, the, uh, Final Fantasy, uh, FFXIpedia, so. Anyways. Uh, we need to go to E7. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be that one up there. Alright, so we weren't even in the right tower at all last time. <laughs> yeah, some of you people are, uh, you were thinking that, you know, when I started it, you're just like, oh, this, this, this jackass, he's not even in the right tower, so. Yeah. <laughs> That's alright. We're out there exploring, having fun. You know, same kind of stuff that we've always done. You know, while playing 11. I mean, I know I've done it. I'll freaking end up being like, Oh yeah, I know where that's at. I'll just go right over there and get it done. And I'm completely off base. So. Anyways. um, Yeah. So, I've got... Uh, I'll tell you what. I'm pretty impressed with this... Uh, this head piece and this body. You know? turning out to be extremely uh, awesome and useful. It's going to be sad, you know, at level 30 to lose it because that means that there's going to be a significant stat drop. So, but, you know, what are you going to do? So, so we're going to wrap up this mission. Um, see if we can do one, two as well. And we'll see how far we can go with the missions. And I know I'm not going to be able to get up to the threes. I'm going to need to be significantly higher to be able to do them. So, but we'll wrap them up and then see where we're at. Oh, there it is over there. And, uh, and oh, get, get off my screen. All right. I think next video we'll end up traveling over to Bastok and Sandy to get my other initial starting trust because, you know, Kupipi, she's awesome, you know, she's just there and keeps me healed and everything like that, but I need some, some other peeps, you know, especially I noticed, you know, something that helped out a lot. I got sneak attacks of Kupipi pulls, uh, aggro, I'm able to, uh, or pulls hate, I'm able to get it off here fairly easy with a sneak attack, you know, or if I do have uh, TP up, I end up, you know, doing a weapon skill as well, and so that's freaking pretty awesome, and I was thinking, you know what, it does be great if I had other damage dealers, and then once I get trick attract, man, I can just put aggro onto them, so, let's see, oh, I probably should summon her, I made a, oh, what, I made all these macros, and then I ended up getting kicked out of the game. I forgot about that. It doesn't automatically save them. Holy cow. Love you, SE, for not automatically saving macros if someone gets kicked out. Good to go. All right. Uh, trust. M.A. Um... PP 
B. I believe that's the correct one. Let's test it out. Yep, there we go. Good to go. Oh, I don't want that. Macros, job ability D, firm. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to copy this, move this right over here. And we'll put it right here. And we'll put another one right there. We'll just end up changing up. We'll delete that. And we're going to make a steel slash GA steel. Oh, didn't want to do that. Bam. Bam. Target. All right. And then we're going to make a sneak attack. SA. Ability. Sneak. Oh. Sneak. Oh. Not that. Sneak attack. Me. Oh. Don't want. What? What's all that question marking about? All right. We can get rid of this. Yeah, that's uh, that's Gandhi. Haste. Delete. Actually, let's just do this. Haste. Wait. One. Late line. Now, I also have. Warp skill. Gust Slash. I don't remember how awesome Gust Slash is. Yo, I like Wasp Wing because it does put a poison on them. Um, duration, you know, obviously with TP, and so it's pretty short. Let me just look that up real quick. Um, let's see here. Sorry, lost music. Dagger. Yeah, come on, internet, hitting the button. Okay, and wasping. Um, duration of effect varies with TV. All right. Okay. 100% uh, wasping, 100% modifier with dex. Good to go. Gust slash will not. Okay, yeah, that's right. Gust slash will not stack with sneak attack. That's what it was. Okay. Super. Okay. So, once we're in here. We need to go to Holy cow, am I not at the right tower? I was looking at E7 for the cutscene. Is this J7? Am I a retard? Yes, this is J7. Okay. <laughs> wow. Second guess the hell out of myself. Oh. Option before entering, talk to Sama. Alright. We'll talk to Sama. Oh, I guess it's supposed to be before entering, but I already entered. Whatever. We'll see what Sama's got to say. Yeah. You know, check this out. You know, this is what the loading screen's like. I'll just show you that back and forth a couple times. Okay, there you are, Sama. What do you got to tell me? Sama. The minister of the observatory is in the labyrinth beneath here. To get there, you should check the walls very carefully. Okay, I will do that. Check them walls. I will, I will done check them walls. So... Uh, one thing that I do find annoying, besides this cursor right in the middle of the screen, um, is that I don't think there's a macro to the miss. Um, 
your trust here. I've tried using different things like, you know, Dismiss or, um, let's see here. I did, uh, Release. None of that stuff worked, so. Oh, we're in here. Is this the main room? Nope, this isn't the main room. This must be the same main room. What what are you? What level are you? Too weak to be worthwhile. I probably could have did this if I was in the right place last time. Yep. It's not obvious that this is where a crack in the wall is going to be. You know, you got two lanterns on the other side. Alright. Yeah. Oh, it's off the map. Awesome. I gotta click the magic gizmo at I-9. Well, I'm at I-9. Oh. I guess this is it. <laughs> Ooh. But everyone else says the same thing, brother. Why? Oh, why won't you listen to what I'm trying to tell you? Yeah, Bo! Why won't you listen to what I'm trying to put down? At long last, we have achieved peace. Why risk destroying it? Because peace is born. Behind your backy wacky, some people say that you're setting out to start a war. What more, you know that this labyrinth in her realms is off limits. Yeah, man, it's off limits. You shouldn't come down here. Ha! <laughs> what do they know? And you, Aparu, my own sister. Cantara, you see the truth behind all this? Why do you think they all fear war, but won't lift a finger winger to do anything about it? They all say that Wanderers has peace and security, peace and security, but do not really really think that the country has peace. Or but do you? <laughs> the wounds the observers receives from the war hasn't healed even after 20 odd years, and the best of the War Warlock mages are dying off, unable to train new, younger replacements. Man, that's, that sucks. Just imagine what would happen if war broke out again. Wonders would be obliterated in the instant Tara. <laughs> I love how they gotta say Tara after everything. That's why we need some grand new magic. Alright. But what about the Star Sibling? Yes, and what about her? <laughs> what was the reason she forbade the very magic I see? If they could have controlled the magic properly, then we wouldn't have had to buddy buddy with the beastmen in the first place. Touche. Sure, the spell weaver died, but the magic itself was a great success. Only you, my dear brother, could call such a great trick. Or tragedy, yes, success. The mastermind of the millennium will met such a tragic fate. So, or so, what chance would a fake waker genius like you stand? <laughs> Faker waker, man, she really doesn't like her brother calling him fake. Say whatever you like. A genius is never appreciated by the world in its own time. If you just come here to whine and whine, then off with you. Get going. Hmm. Just a second, gotta drink. Now I don't care what happens to you anymore, brother. Don't come crying to me if you get yourself killed. How is he gonna come crying to you if he gets himself killed? No, oh, just one second here.
All right, we're back. Okay. In comes me. Oh, who's that over there? What are you say? You want to be a newbie adventurer, huh? So you're the one they sent to help me with the experiment. Well, you're too wait. The experiment is over. The gizmo just broke down again. And my pesky little sister wanted on or wandered on and just to insult or just to add insult to injury. Ooh, we're gonna have to work on this whole reading thing. <laughs> Whew, well, I've had enough for one day. I'm heading home. Seeing you've come all this way, I'd hate for you to go home em empty handed. So, here's a little job for you. Alright, what do you got? On your way here, you probably noticed glowing gizmos here and there, didn't you? Well, inside each of them, there's a magical ball created a mana orb. I think one of those mana orbs was broken by the experiment that fell just now. Your job is to find the broken sphere and take it back to the Oricetary. Oricetary? Oricetary. Oricetary. Oh, and one more thing. Don't go blabbing about what you just heard here, alright, Tara? Fine, dude. I won't go no telling them, buddies. Alright. Um. Gonna go. Oh, goblins, I guess, were just chilling next to me. That's cool. We gotta find out which, uh, which ball this is. Okay. Please be lucky. Yes? No? Ah, uh, no such luck. No, I just realized they don't bring Kupipi into the cutscenes with me. That's too bad. Let's see here. Maybe we get lucky with this one. You know what it's going to be. It's going to be the last freaking one. I. I already know. I can already tell you. It's gonna be the last one. Oh, why don't I have Flea already? Come on. Come on. Uh oh. Yay! It wasn't the last one. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's what I'm talking about right there. Alright. One out of three. Ain't too bad of odds. Alright. So now we need to head back to the Aristotary. And finish up this mission. And then go get the next one. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Man. So, um, I was trying to find some other things out about this trust stuff and whatnot, and it seems there's a lot of other people that you can get with alter ego extravaganzas, and so there's some of them you can get with, uh, What's it called? Uh, conquest points. So I was like, cool, man. I'm going to go over there. Well, there's no alter ego extravaganza going on right now. I guess they don't happen all the time. And so I'm just asked out. And unfortunately, they don't put up a tracker at all of like, when the next events are. At least I don't think. I've Googled the hell out of it and there's not much there. So they like, you know, list the current ones and 
ones have happened in the past, so. But, um, today is the 3rd or 4th of December, so I'm pretty sure it's on the 5th, today is the 4th of December, on the 15th we get, uh, the, is it Starlight Celebration starts? That's the Christmas Celebration. So, maybe one will kick off at that same time, hopefully, we can pick up a, a couple different trusts. But, I guess we'll just have to see. Anyways, um, other than that, man, it's, leveling has been pretty fast, you know, getting this 15, you know. There were several times I wanted to break off my level, and I was just like, you know what, I'm going to run over to Sandy and Lindy, and I was like, oh, I can't do that. Stay focused, get your levels. We're going to go over there. You know, eventually, I need to make a video of it. I keep on wanting to do all this stuff, and, you know, get it knocked out. Now, I'm telling you, there are some things I'm cheating a little bit on. Um, one of them being, as you can see right here, um, I've got 399 gil, okay? Or 399,000, all right? I sent over some money from my main just so that we weren't gonna have issues, you know, with money-wise and everything like that. Good to go, easy enough. I also sent over, you can see I'm wearing my uh, bounding boots. I sent those over. You know, I mean, I would go kill Leaping Lizzie, but that would require me going to Bastok. I would have had to make a video of it. We'll kill Leaping Lizzie, don't worry. But I'm, I'm impatient. So I'm going to also, there's certain items that, like, you'd love to have their gear once you get to level, but. Yo, know, we're not going to be able to do that. So one thing I'm camping with my main right now is King Arthur to get that speed belt. Or I guess the V-belt, technically. So. So, we'll get that, uh, that speed belt. That way, that when I hit, I think it's 60, or is it 66? Whatever, when I hit that, I'll be able to use... That humdinger. There's a couple other things from my thief. I've, you know, got saved up from way back in the day. That I'll end up transferring over. Just because, you know, we'll go and kill some stuff. But obviously, when I get to that level, I can't kill King Arthos. Alright, I need to talk to Hekuru. Hekuru, there we go. What's up, boy? What you doing up there? So you're able to meet our uh, Flubby the Dubby Minister, huh? Man, you just talk a whole lot of smack about your boss there. You want me to let him know what you're saying behind his back? The minister came back a little bit ago, but was straight out the door again. Oh, uh, that's the no-go mana orb. Yep, here you go. You can have it. So you're the one the minister was mumbling about when he huffing and pony ran in and ran out of here. He told us to take the hunk of junk cracked mana orb off of you. Thanks for your help. Today we're looking forward to having you help us again in the future. Alright, good to go. Awesome sauce. Okay, time to another home. Wonders Woods. Uh, I like this. They show you on the map which one you're going to. I dig that. You know, I guess they didn't used to do that. You kind of had to remember them all. So that is super. Thanks for asking. All right. And where we at? Okay. All right. What do you got for me, girl? Next mission. Let's do it. Missions you're currently able to offer me. Heart of the matter. Yes, I will take that. Let's 
bring that up real quick. Heart of the matter. Okay. Accept this mission. Yes. Alright. The Manistry. Okay. Accept. Yep. I don't know if I'm going to read through every single one of these. Yes, point which way I'm supposed to go. Let's see here. That's in Winders Woods. Oh, phone call. And I did not uh, silence my phone at all. That's awesome. Okay. How about we do that? Put it on vibrate. There we go. All right. That is accomplished. Onward and upward. All right. H9. I'm pretty sure it is that building right there. Yeah. What ta ta? What ta ta? There we go. Uh, this door? This is, this is G9. This must be this door. It's G10. Oh! Whatever. Maybe it was this door. I need a talkie walkie to a Rupu. Okay. Or a Puru. Alright. Oh, Trishmet. I don't think I can get you right now. But how about the mission? There we go. Cutscene. Yeah, I'll help you help you out right now. Um, very nice of you to come. Well, thank you very much. I did come over here to help you out there, bucko. So what's your problem? Oh, you're going to give me a rundown what this is all about. Well, seeing that there's all these Cardians here, I'm pretty sure that you guys work on the Cardians. And they already told me that you work on Cardians here. So that's cool if they're letting me know. Dolls made of straw, cloth, and other stuff. Like what other kind of stuff? Cardians. Okay. Put a mana orb in them. They're good to go. Six dark mana orbs have lost their glow. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to go get them recharged. Alright. First, second. Wow, well, there's a whole bunch of them. There's, there's six of them. Not a whole bunch. Alright. Head to East Sudabrua to J11. Will do. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. New Sudabaruta. Now something for our little trip. I don't know if it's gonna work. I doubt it. I don't think I got it on me right now. But something I did pick up because um, I finished up all the. Uh, the tutorial missions from uh, Celia and she gave me Chocobo tickets. Now I can't remember if Chocobo ticket, if you can use them at, if you don't have a uh, license. So we're going to try and if you can use them that's going to be super because we'll just end up getting a Chocobo to help run up to the boat to take the ship over. So, J11, did I say? Yeah, my no, tower, J11. Nope, oh, don't want that. Map, J11. Yeah, okay, that's the one that we were in initially. So. Anywho, um... Yeah. Gonna have to get some fame up once I get to Juno. Because, holy cow. Um, 
equipment space blow or uh, item space blows. You know, my gobby bag is 20 or 30 items, and that is just disgusting cuffs. Oh, no, no, we can drop those. Okay, silver beastman coin, beehive chips, slacks. I guess I could wear some slacks. Or I guess I can't because they're not for thief. Cool. Whatever. Gear's really not too important at this level. You know, with this head and body, you know, pretty much the main key pieces that you want to worry about is, you know, your weapon, obviously. Get that higher DPS. And then, uh, anything that might have, you know, decent stats on it, uh, like myself using, uh, Wasting. You know, anything that's got decks on it is gonna be, a uh, huge help. Alright, uh, do I need to talk to anyone before I go here? Uh... Speak to a tar. I don't see any tar. Do oh, oh, there's a tar. Alright. What do you want, dude? Yeah. Volunteer for the ministry mission. Okay. Explain what you got to do. Um, I'm tired. You'll find a passage. Wings greatly. Okay. You are retrieved to the room furthest in the back of the room, hidden behind a secret, secret door. And turn on the switch. If all the mana is played correctly, the magic energy will generate the ruins, will flow through the gizmo when you charge all the orbs. Once they're re energized, we're to collect them all and take them back. Alright, good to go. We'll do. Here, without this, I can't get into the room. Okay. Well, good thing I talked to you. I love when you cast and like you're running it kind of like freezes your body uh, I have noticed while running around that the trust man sometimes I don't know if what it is they get caught on items or something like that but they uh, don't always follow you all that great all right, so what do we got here? We open this up. Ancient Gizmo. Do I have to pick which one to put in? Nope. It just does itself. Cool. What's that? Take them out. There we go. Got that one. This should be the fourth. Those ones, four pedestals, 
Each corner along the outer north south wall should be able to target cracks. Okay, like here. Alright, so I guess one goes in here. Alright, now I need to go to the south wall. bad. It's actually pretty stinking easy. Man. Oh well. Leveling needs to happen anyway, so I'm fine with that. There we go. So, first um, level 30 job, or advanced job that I'm going to unlock is going to be Ninja. Now that's going to be key, I believe. You know, need to have that ability to do a weld. All right, let's see here. Now I need to go where? Head to the east outer wall. Okay. Be a crack in the middle of it. There we go. Oh, I'm guessing it's behind that big old door. Don't I get to go in there? Oh, I see southeastern star charm disappeared. That sucks. I was hoping there was a switch I got to flip, actually. We good? Successfully charged. Okay, now I need to grab them all up. Alright. Easy enough. I was coming over. Nope. Oh, dude, you guys are just all types of like blocking the stairwell. Oh. Feels like I just did this. I don't know who designed this, you know, but apparatus here, but they weren't very smart. You gotta run around so much, you know. Maybe they put off radiation or something. You can't have them too close to each other. You know, otherwise you end up getting a, uh, some type of magical overload or whatnot. I need to get a new headset. Um, headset I'm running right now are these Tryons, I think is what it is. You know, sound that I'm just amazing and everything like that, but the actual quality of them is terrible. The headsets, like the band is broken in the middle. Pain in the butt, man. Um, well, I've got a 
abnormally large head, I'm told. It's not that big. It's hat size will wear like a seven and a half. So if I got a full head of hair, you know, going like pretty bushy and everything like that, it need to be like a seven and three quarters. So, but uh, all right, let's see here. I've got all those. Uh, whoa, where am I supposed to go here? Oh, I gotta go through that crack. <laughs> like what? So lost. All right. Um. Yeah, okay, so we run back upstairs and head on out. So, but, yeah, the middle is all cracked or anything like that. Um, I've got it held together with some uh, medical tape. I use medical tape on everything because I've got a crap load of it. Um, like, holding my headset together. The wires are all, like, coming apart. You know, where they go into, like, the headset. They're all, like just room like putting the headset up and down and everything you know, all it twists and everything like that like the coating around the wire just started to separate way too easy so I sent it in ooh cutscene what do we got here holy cow don't take too long Ace of Clubs. Oh, this guy. Ace of Swords. Ace of Wands. Great. Uh, many arms of cardigan hearts. Many arms of cardigan souls. You are to give us cardigans back our mana orbs. We have no need of them. You have no need of them. And they don't talk all funky. See, like, see. You too, adventurer. Hand over those mana orbs to those guardians now, or we'll force to take your heart and your soul instead. I prefer you don't. You guys want to fight? Huh? Fine, I guess I'll give them to you. I'm pretty sure these guys are really tough. I'm not. I can't remember what level they are. I know you have to fight them at some point. Is this all of them? Affirmative. Alright. They be else. Dude. They're just like straw on cloth. Pretty sure we could have took them. There goes 10 years of your life. Why is that? Oh, because you're scared? That was a close call. I don't know. How close was it? Alright, please report back. Just what took place, Mr. Be careful on my way home. Will do, bucko. You hold down the fort here. Don't you go leaving now. Yeah, you. You stay. Be a good boy. Ooh, fire. Come, on. Come over here and warm myself by the fire. Oh, oh this is nice. Ah, uh, yes. Let me, let me just sit by the fire for a second. Ah, uh, ah, oh, this is nice. Uh, what's going on, guys? Hey! What are you doing? You come up. What? What are you doing? I'm just trying to hang out by the fire with y'all. You know? Why you gotta be like that? Man. I just came over here to get warm and hang out. It's kind of cold out tonight. You guys aren't very nice. Alright. Yeah. Oh. Apparently all you want to... That's cool, dude. You know what? Three of you can just freaking go ahead and die, and I'll keep the fire to myself. That's how you want to do things. Ooh. Yeah. Treasure Hunter. Increased by two. Give me nothing. And goblins. 
Self righteous, freaking don't want to share no fire. Bunch of ass clowns, I swear. I just wanted to hang out. I wasn't even trying to be aggressive towards them. They attacked me first. You saw that, right? Oh, so anyways, onto the headset. Um, yeah, man, just falling apart left and right. And I've already sent it in once. I got a brand new one sent back, you know, warranty and whatnot. It took like a month, two months, probably a month and a half to two months broke already. So now obviously now they won't replace it again. They're like, oh, well, you already used your warranty. And I sent it back to the company. And I was like, dude, you guys are just selling crap, you know, if this is your, you know, how you want to do things. So anyways, whatever. I just... I'll end up getting another set. I don't know what I'll end up doing. I gotta look at some different headsets and see what's gonna be good. I need something that's probably a little bit more flexible. These ones were pretty rigid. Like it hurt my head when I first got them, how tight they were and everything like that. So I need to find one that maybe has like a, a flexible point in the middle of the headset where it kind of bends over the top of your head. That would probably be good. So, and it obviously couldn't be because every once in a while when I freaking, I rage, I throw my headset, that couldn't be any of the issue at all. I'm pretty, pretty sure, like 99.5% sure that that didn't cause any of the issues. <laughs> uh, I haven't thrown my headset in a long time. I used to, I usually only do that when I'm playing World of Tanks and things go really bad that I get pissed off. <laughs> so, what's up, dude? So, yeah, your orbs. Kind of got them stolen. Okay, yeah, trust permit. I, I realize we can't do it. So, uh, yeah, they turned up again. Quite an embarrassing tale for you, huh? Old Cardians from the Warriors escaped and went wild. They all doing wickedness, huh? Uh, let's see here. So the reason they still man orbs is to revive the friends who have run out of magic. Okay, that makes sense. But the mana orbs are just spheres of magic. Unless there is a mage who can use the mana orbs to bring life in Cardians, they're totally useless. So even if they, or if they are successful in stealing the orbs, they, it serves them no purpose. Uh, I'm pretty sure they got something figured out there. But you're glad that I'm safe. All right, good to go. Thank you for the efforts. Yeah. All right, completed. Do, do I get a? I didn't say like rank up or anything like that. No. All right. So that was one, two. Is there a one, three? There might be a one, three. Should be a one, three, I would imagine. So if there was a one, three, we'll knock that out real quick and then we'll cut the video off there. I'm gonna have to tend to my son, make sure everything's good to go with him. I have a. Uh, my son's autistic. He's a. Uh, I'm lucky because he is a high functioning autistic child, you know. But still, he does have uh, needs that I have to address. So, uh, price of peace. Yep, that's the next one. We'll go ahead and pull that out real quick. Um. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, hello. Alright. Accept this mission. Correct, I will. Alright. Oh, yeah. This is the one where I've got to go into Quiff I'm on. Into those two guys offering a piece, whatever. Good to go. Let's get this done there, honey bunny.
Okay, I need to go to Rhinoceros. That's some Linder's Waters. It's probably not called a rhin Rhinoceros or whatever it is, but I just call it the Rhinoceros. That's fine. Rhinoceri, uh, Winter's Waters. Which one's the Rhinoceri? Oh, it's on the second map. Oh, both those are far away. Doesn't matter. Actually, you know what I should have done is I should have went to port to the observatory. That would have put me closer, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh. So, Let's see, we're good to go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Look, sure. So these uh records of eminence, man. They're pretty cool. I like them a lot. Um, vanquish multiple enemies. No. So this one right here, um, deal 110 to 120 damage. I'm pretty sure that I've done that before with weapon skills. Maybe weapon skills don't count. But, man, they're freaking awesome. You can... Get some good experience build up from doing those. Alright, this should be it right here. I need to go where to. Um, the roof and talk to Lee Hoppy. Leapy Hoppy. Leapy Hoppy. Sounds like a an M's name right there. Leapy Hoppy. There you are. What's up there, Leapy Hoppy? Alright. Yep, go to Gideas, give them their things, cherries. Okay. Alright. Oh, sorry about the yawning, man. Oh my gosh. Coffee's just not kicking in enough. Need like a monster or something. Red Bull, give me some wings. Oh, probably should get this while I'm here. I would have just made the trip so much faster. Yep. And I will travel to the one that's here. To number one. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Talk to you, maybe some news. Alright, no. Um, there's one of them I can hit that teleports me. Void watch. Person. I just want to travel to the outpost because I got that thingy. Which one of you do I talk to? Ten of hearts? Is it you, dude? No. Whatever. I'll just run. I'm gonna have to look that up later. I can't remember who I have to talk to to run to teleport outpost. Because I got the suit of brood in one hair already. So. Night sky is beautiful, the music is good, everything's nice. Gosh, man, I tell you what, I just love this train so much. So awesome. And 
I should be heading more this way than anything. All right. Yeah. But, yeah, man, freaking. Gonna have to unlock Ninja first. Definitely need to do that. Get that Ninja unlocked. Oh, I'm gonna have to do my sub job quest. What's gonna be my, I guess, warrior for my initial sub job? Warrior monk. Monk doesn't really bring much I could boost, but it's actually gonna be kind of annoying. So I'm only gonna use it before weapon skill. It'll give me a little bit of HP over warrior, but hardly anything at all. So. Yeah, probably warrior. That way, at least I get provoke, and I can pull with voke. I guess I, I don't know because I won't get war cry until level thirty. At that time, or not war cry? Is it berserk? Berserk. I won't get until level thirty. Is it being a sub? So yeah, gosh. So that means that I am gonna have berserk for a little bit. Oh, you know what I get? Let me drink some more of this coffee, huh? Mmm, <sighs> that's some, some yummy stuff. So that means that I'm only gonna have for a little bit while I go to get Ninja and then unlock it. Gosh, do I have to have Norg Fang to unlock Ninja? And I hope not. Fame. Oh my gosh. So, apparently they reduced the requirements on fame pretty significantly, which is good. But I have no idea what they are at now. You know, I'm just going to have to turn in a bunch of stuff and build up my fame. So, I'm not sure what to... Uh, much fan I'm gonna have to get to knock stuff out so but yeah I'll get ninja unlocked and then I'll push ninja up to let's see here I'll push it up to 25 and then I'll jump back on thief that way I got a clear shot all the way to 50 I wonder if I can get the NPCs here, if they can... I don't think they come in a burn or burning circle with me. Ew, that means that the Dark Lord I'm going to have to fight solo. Ooh, that's... I might have to get some help for that. I don't think I can do that at level 50. Maybe I can. I'll have to read it. The Dark Lord. Oh my gosh. Oh, that right there. There's little lips, man. I mean, I'm kind of happy they don't have jump in 11. But there's certain times where a jump would just be so much better. You know, it would be nice to have, you know, for, like, lips like that. I tell you, the thing I hate about jump, though, is, like, in any other freaking MMO, you see people they just sit there jumping for no reason in one spot. Just, like, bah, and they jump through town. They jump all over the place. And you're just like, oh, my gosh, dude. annoying as hell so alright dude I got your offering for you here use your stuff yeah you like that don't you but so if they uh it's cool that they didn't want to bring jump into the game that's fine I'm totally fine with that but they should have made like those little like step ups and if you all like the stairs you guys all know there's sometimes where freaking climbing stairs is painful. Just like straight up ridiculously painful. So, they should have made that little step up, you know, better. So, yeah. Just something, you know. They should have did something to help out with that because like stairs is just difficult sometimes. Um, I'm trying to remember what the name of the zone is. 
gosh, I can't remember. It's out of not the highlands, um, the plateau. And you go down into those uh, big old cracks. And you can zone into, I don't know, I can't remember what the zone is. It's like, um, you have to go there for the brown belt quest, I believe. But fight that Marlboro. A couple of things you do down there, I can't really remember. I think one of the bunch of the AFs happened down there. So, but anyways, oh man, those stairs. They freaking seriously suck trying to go up and down all the time. There's another guy. And this is who I want to talk to. What's up, bro? Got your goodies here for you. Yeah? Are you happy? Oh, stupid little Razor Synapsis freaking configure update. Yeah, we're not going to be doing that right now. Oh, come on, get out of the menu. Alright. And we're good to go. We can hightail it on out of here. I believe. Yeah. We are done. Um, yep. Return to the Ornasri and then report back to the gate. Super. But. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's here. Right turn. Yeah. I'm not even going to look at the map. I know. I know. We're just going off the top of my head. And I know that that's not it. <laughs> Let's go straight through here and around this corner. We're going to be set, you know. Real men don't read maps that often. <laughs> Pretty sure this is the right way. Almost 100% positive this is right. Alright, good job. Good to go there, Mercer. Way to get it figured out. Sweet. Anyways. Man. You know what? I hope that, like, Maybe once 11 is finished, which has died off and everything like that, they end up shutting the service down. Do they come out with like 11 2.0, you know? Certain things, you know, are going to be updated, but not a lot of stuff. I don't want it to be anything like 14. You know, actually, I'd be happy if they just remade 11 completely, okay? That way the newer, newer gamers can re-experience, you know, everything. Obviously, it's people that would be coming back. We know a lot of stuff, but it would just be, I'd be happy with the same stories and missions and everything like that. Just give it a, a new graphics engine, you know, update our graphics a good amount, you know, make us, you know, up to current times. Um, clean up the UI a little bit, not saying that it's not clean right now, but you know, everything, our menu, not make it so menu demanding, you know, that we can accomplish more um give us some some stuff you know i mean we got our macro bars but you can set that as hot bars like you know down the bottom make the ui so that you know it's customizable like everyone else you know runs but i'd want it to be still you could only have a minimal amount of stuff on your screen you know that's uh that's what i would prefer you know keep it as authentic as possible you know this game is meant to be you know stunning that you're able to see so much stuff around you that your screen's not cluttered with a ton of freaking other crap so you know maybe make our compass a little bit better I understand it's down there in the corner and it's not bad but maybe a little bit better compass um, Yeah, just a couple of those things, you know, make me happy. They're supposed to be updating here pretty soon in the next update, the chat bar. They're talking about adding a second one. I don't know how that's going to work. They're just going to separate it. Because you look at the chat bar there, I mean, 
honestly, it covers the whole bottom of the screen. I'm using like a quarter of that chat bar. So I think I bet two of them side by side and I'd be good to go. You know, that way you can have a, a battle chat and a just a talk chat bar. You know, that'd be fine. But anyways, I think it's not too bad, you know, but yeah, man, just update a little bit and everything like that. Oh my gosh. I would totally, I mean, I'm already playing again through the old, you know, the original version. I would definitely pick up the new version and, you know, I make it so that I can't transfer over my character and everything I accomplish, you know, I mean, that's going to be unfair if, like, someone's able to transfer their player over, you know, say, like, you were in 11 originally, and all of a sudden you could go to 11 2.0 and just have, like, you know, you're already freaking at maximum, whatever, but, no, none of that, but you could, uh, you could, like, say transfer your name and have, like, you know, some type of little, like, I don't know. I don't know. Something that would say that you came from the original, but, you know, you don't automatically get to become a high level because that would be unfair to you know, players that are starting off initially. But, you know, and, and make it the same way. You have to do parties. You know, certain things like this. I mean, I dig the you know, that we can sit here and use our trust, you know, that definitely helps out, you know, that's kind of a nice little system, I wish we would had in the day, but I like how Eleven kind of forced you to party, you have to be in parties to go grind experience and everything like that, so make the trust system, but make it so that parties would yield you more experience, you know, you get to level faster, you know, that way you build those partying skills, because like, the big problem right now I see with 14 is the only time you really or in a party is when you go into like a dungeon or something and people just don't develop any party skills at all they don't know how to utilize party skills that much so I like the idea that they force people to be in parties that way once you got to end game you knew how parties operated and everything like that you're able to work through it Oh, let's see here. Oh my gosh, I'm yawning so much. It's annoying. What, what are you two talking about? I haven't even been reading. All right. Uh, oh, right, right. Discussion later. You know, good thing I wasn't paying attention. You know, you guys could have kept on blobbing away. Uh, mission's done already. Yeah, man, that was actually pretty easy. I don't know why you didn't just run out to yourself. Freaking lazy little Tara. <sighs> Alright. Head back to the gate. So. But. Man, yeah. Freaking. I tell you what. I loved doing exp parties some people don't like it they're like oh it's too grindy you know what every single mmo is grindy you know everyone complains that it's too grindy it's too grindy you know you i gotta do quests all and over again you know with other mmos you you grind quests all the way to the end you know this thing you know everyone's like oh you gotta party grind all the way to the end. i didn't mind party grinding there's got to be a grinding element to a game you know every single game's got it uh you look at like cod you have to grind your levels up by doing, you know, all your kills and stuff like that to be able to unlock, you know, different weapons and the, you know, the equipment on them. You know, uh, World of Tanks. You have to grind through all the different tanks to get to top tier tanks. And same thing with these games, you know, you've got to grind to get to the top tier. I hate, I tell you what I absolutely hate nowadays, is that video games are giving away everything so freaking easy. No one is really earning it, you know, uh, when I first started playing Rift, uh, when it first came out, they said, hey man, yeah, Rift, it's freaking, the dev said, we don't care, um, that it's, you know, taking people's, 
you know, so little time to get to the level cap. You know, that's another thing. We want to have a great end game. Dude, my brother and Rift made it to level cap, um, which was 50 initially when it came out, in like a day and a half of hard grinding. I think I got there in three days because I enjoy sleep. All right, I'm back. What do we got? Yep. Yeah. Let's keep working together. Ooh, ooh, rank two. Thousand gil. Okay, well, that's nice. That helps out a little bit. All right, well, anyways, um, we'll uh, pick up our discussions in the next video. And uh, I guys, hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Um, yeah, keep on coming back, and I'm going to be cranking them out. Um, like and subscribe, and uh, let me know what your thoughts are, where you want to see me go, okay? Anyways, you guys have a good one, and we'll talk to you later.